searching for another wingman, yet his most recent decision won't take care of his issues. President Trump is searching for a congressional pioneer he enjoys. Mitch McConnell has been discovered needing, so now the president is playing with Chuck Schumer. Trump favored Schumer and Nancy Pelosi a week ago on a consent to expand the obligation roof for three months. The Republican initiative in Congress needed a more drawn-out expansion, stressed that a fleeting measure would give Democrats more use when it terminates toward the finish of the year. The ascension, in addition to Trump's warm words about throw and Nancy and his revealed amuse over the positive press scope of the arrangement, has driven theory that Trump will swing to the Democrats in a bipartisan turn. On the off chance that an organization with Chuck Schumer is without a doubt Trump's arrangement for another stage in his administration, he should reconsider. It bodes well that Trump is enticed. His disappointment with the congressional authority is, from his point of view, reasonable. These are the stars who disclosed to him when he appeared in Washington that they had an arrangement and that he needn't stress. So far there's nothing to appear for it. Trump feels some opportunity to move. He has a firmer handle on Republican voters than anybody in Congress. In the event that Republicans didn't despise their own pioneers, Trump never would have won this election or progress toward becoming president in any case. Individual liking definitely assumes a part. Trump talks the dialect of Chuck Schumer, his kindred external precinct New Yorker, more than of Paul Ryan, the sincere approach wonk, or Mitch McConnell, the excellent strategist. At last, Trump may trust that he can help his drooping survey numbers by reminding individuals he's a non-ideological arrangement creator and by getting things, anything, done. A Schumer partnership is, regardless, a siren melody. The obligation bargain wasn't generally an arrangement. It was where Trump could see a few points of interest, securing Hurricane Harvey subsidizing, increasing some breathing space for imposed change by essentially offering in to Schumer and Pelosi. How frequently is that going to happen? Perhaps there could be an arrangement over a codification of DACA, with Trump again to a great extent conceding to Schumer and Pelosi, or some inventive foundation bundle. Be that as it may, there are points of confinement to what Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell, who have extensive administrative power, would convey to the floor, they wouldn't move to one side since President Trump does. What's more, Schumer has his own particular needs. He wouldn't favor a tax break for the rich. He's not going to cancel Obamacare. He's not going to support the divider. He's not going to help the raise demonstration, cutting levels of lawful movement. He's not going to move over on another moderate Supreme Court candidate. The possibility that Trump, who has been excessively uncouth, making it impossible to enable his own particular gathering in Congress to will collaborate with maybe the most mischievously wise Democrat in the nation and prove to be the best is hard to credit. Schumer will drain Trump for whatever he can get, each strategic favorable position, all of new spending, insofar as he doesn't give away anything critical and doesn't tangibly help Trump's political standing. The dalliance with Schumer comes amidst the Republican push for charge change. It can just include another layer of doubt and brokenness on an effectively full association with the GOP authority when it is pondering a hugely complex authoritative undertaking. To be sure, a definitive interest to Trump of a partnership with Schumer must be the expectation of escape from the disorder of his own overseeing style, which has been a delay his own gathering. Yet, there is no escape, regardless of whether Trump's wingman is Mitch McConnell or Chuck Schumer, or so far as that is concerned, Ted Cruz or Bernie Sanders. The Senate minority pioneer may look appealing at this point. Before sufficiently long, he will be similarly as inadmissible in Trump's eyes as almost every other person in Washington.